Well, we're ready for another day in paradise. Finally able to get a get a, another drive shaft made up for the bush hog that came off and got lost last night. Had to do a little uh, machining on it to make it work, but I think it's going to be all right. We got about 36 acres on this farm, and then we got to drive uh, through the heart of Jackson to get to another 17 acre acre farm. Hopefully we'll get done with this farm before it gets dark and we can get moved in the day daylight because it is not going to be a fun move. So, the, so while I was out getting the dry shaft uh, made up, uh, Zach got the cotton picker serviced and we're just getting the heads warmed up right now before we take off picking. every single year. Oh, shut up! Well, there goes our day in paradise. Kelly just called me on the radio and said that uh, one of the chains on the bowl buggy is broke and that's not the type of chain I know how to fix. I don't know what we're going to do. Get up here and take a look at it I guess. Well that looks like a problem. I thought it was a different type of chain though so we should be able to find a master link for that pretty easy though. Channel or set of channel locks. Okay. 
a big cheetah pot. Did guys just go to get the uh, half link, a master link, and ask them if they've got just a pin too. Uh, they're, they're, not, they're not going to have the pin. Oh, never mind. And what? Never mind, they ain't going to have Half link and master link. Half link, master link. And to, to, and to send a picture before he leaves with it so he can just make sure it's the right thing. Get moved to Godfrey tonight. Let's go. I guess the bull buggy felt left out and needed to break down too. I was like, no way. Down left out. I'm over it. up and rotate the chain just bump it a little you will have to pick it up a little bit my paint up.
Kelly, try not to break it again. Yeah, I, I heard so many of them. I, I wish I could remember. Hey, look here, Zor. Stop throwing stuff. Well, we're back going again. Got the bull buggy fixed. It wound up not being as near as bad a job as one of thought. I thought there was some kind of weird uh, looking chain on there that didn't know where we get parts for. But it was just a simple uh, 20 uh, 60 H chain. No big deal at all. It took longer to go get the part than it did to fix it. We back running again, got another beautiful sunset tonight. I'll include some drone footage right here. But anyway, we still got another uh, 13 acres left on this farm. We're not going to get done with it before dark. God, that's got to be the worst sounding alarm ever. So, looks like we'll be uh, moving down the highway at night. Not looking forward to that, but at least uh, it should be after rush hour, so hopefully traffic won't be that bad. Man, what a sunset. What a sunset. Alright, break time. Let's see what goodies Kelly packed in my punch box. Get me along until supper time, whenever that might be tonight. Hey, we are about to move through the middle of Jackson at night. Not what I was planning on doing. We got our chase vehicle out in front, we got someone behind us, so hopefully, this will go pretty smoothly. Still be flying strong whenever we get to the field. All right, here we are at the four lane. I don't have any room on the right hand side shoulder. There is literally a curb right there with mailboxes, so gotta take up the left hand lane too. I'm so glad this is the last time I got to come over this field. It started out as almost a 30 acre farm when I started farming it five years ago and it's slowly being subdivided. Now there's 17 acres left. And I told the landlord it's just not worth it anymore for me to keep coming, uh, making this drive over here to get to it. It's incredibly difficult to get to. Not to mention dangerous. I can't believe how light traffic is at 7.30 at night though, so it's a definite blessing. I guarantee if we waited till tomorrow morning, it wouldn't be anywhere close to this uh, light. One of the main reasons I wanted to do it tonight and not wait till the morning. Come on lights, stay green, stay green. We got Zach right behind me in the, one of the module builders and Kelly's right behind him in the bowl buggy. Then we got Roy following behind in his truck with the flashers on. We got my father-in-law in front of me in the chase vehicle with a, with a rotating beacon.
obviously these subdivision streets were not made in the, with the mind of uh, having a cock picker come through. My main fear though is when you get into subdivisions, people like to park on the roads on both sides. So I'm just hoping that we got enough room to get our equipment through and don't have to go knocking on doors tonight. Don't pull out, don't pull out, come on, come on. Didn't mama te teach you to look both ways before you pull down the road? I bet these folks are like, what the heck is a cotton picker doing? Coming through our subdivision at 7.30 at night. All right, we're on the home stretch now. I think, I think we're good to go. We're past the worst of it. Oh, The other limbs didn't get the flag, that one sure did. Dang gummit, they put a freaking gate up. They've done some more construction over here since we were over here defoliating. Sown some grass down and stuff. So we were going to build a module builder right over here, but there's been dirt work and grass sown down, and we would tear it to pieces, and the landowner would not be happy. So hopefully, this new road they just put in leads to our field without any obstructions. What a cluster. I'm sure y'all can see now why I ain't coming back over here next year to farm what little bit's left. It just ain't worth it. Well, at least they were nice enough to pave us a road. came off. Appreciate y'all riding along with me and keeping me company, and we'll see you in the next video.